Hello citizens of Sony Bridge and welcome back to our cooperative D&D world building stream as we transition into session planning. Wow, we are, we're actually making progress now. We're, we're, we're so close to hosting our first D&D session via proxy and uh, we're, we're using the, the next few weeks to just get the last few bits ready before I host our, our cooperative game for a session zero for a mystery group of guests. Uh, last week we had a bit of a fumble really. We were, um, we were working on a, a propaganda poster that we were going to hand to our players for our for session zero to give them an idea of what's going on with the story. Uh, and I made some mistakes I think. Like I, like I, I, will, um, I will hold my hands up and say I, I kind of I didn't take the brief into account and I started trying to like draw something that was definitely not going to happen in two hours. So, uh, but then we rushed one together in half an hour at the end, which kind of proves the point that we don't need to spend too much, too much time working on these player handouts and stuff. Uh, so excited about the playthrough. I am Nerafina. I'm super excited to play. Uh, I'm also a little bit nervous as well. Uh, I'm not used to. I'm not really used to DMing online, and although a lot of the people involved, people I've DM'd with, and I know them all, uh, I should feel quite comfortable and kind of a little, little bit nervous on on our behalf. It's kind of. I feel like um, there's added pressure because it's kind of. It's not my work. It's like our work, and I wanna. I wanna do right by you guys. I wanna sell. I wanna sell the story. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, but a, a wise man once said to me, and it kind of stuck with me that. Um, being being nervous and being excited are very similar. Like the physical the physical things that happen to your body when you're nervous and excited are very similar. Like, and it's a similar kind of energy. And if you can, you should you should channel try and channel uh, nervous energy into excited energy if you wanna if you wanna succeed. Uh, that's a do as I do as I say, not as I do thing. But yeah, I, I, I love that, and uh, it's, it's something I try and stick to. So what's going on here for, for anyone who's new? Uh, we're, we are a, a like-minded group of uh, RPG players and not RPG players, but RPG people who are interested in maybe playing their first D&D game and haven't committed yet. Uh, and we sort of, this is like a thought exercise where as a group we're cooperatively planning a D&D session. Uh, and lessons already, exactly. That's... That's, you come, you come for the pretty face, and you stay for the, the high level uh, learning, right? The high level concepts that we're, that we're just bander around here, which kind of feeds into what I'm saying. We're we're a group of, um, we're just a we're just a we're just a group of fun loving individuals who like to chill out on a Sunday and uh, talk about D and I'm going to say D and D because that's kind of what I say, uh, but I'm, I mean RPGs really. But we we're, we're sort of for the context of what we're doing, we use D&D because it's very, very accessible and it's more likely people will understand what I'm talking about. But we're, we're um, I am a DM quite often. Uh, I've got uh, some level of experience DMing that I won't overstate, but, um, you know, I feel quite comfortable DMing. Uh, and we sort of go through a process, uh, generally sort of sticking to my normal roadmap, but that's always open to... Uh, suggestions and we, we we're just going about planning a and d session a D&D campaign from the ground up so we've built our own world uh, we've inhabited that world with deities and societies and and NPCs and a plot line for our players to get involved with and we're now at a point where we're planning individual sessions we're gonna start planning individual sessions and we'll plan encounters and all sorts and the idea being if you're a DM and you want to come and engage and give us some tips share your tips and take stuff away and look, get better at dming just by talking about it then that's great if you're thinking about dming for the first time and you want to get an idea of of where to begin also great this this is all available online uh i will chuck the the doc link in here i'll explain that a bit more later but all everything we're planning is available in the document online so in theory when we finished you could you can literally take this Google Doc and, and play that session for your friends. Uh, so that would, that would be awesome uh, to inspire someone to DM for the first time. Or maybe you're a player and you're just interested to see what goes on behind the DM screen. I think there's a lot a, lot a player can learn uh, from sort of thinking about 
the way that a DM goes about planning a game uh, that can help you become, uh, I don't want to say a better player, uh, but like maybe a more engage, engaged player. Um, and I've had some 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 truly heartbreaking, some, some, some truly emotional uh, feedback from this process of people saying like uh, that people people who've played before and haven't DM'd that maybe thought they would never DM have sort of come away from this experience thinking like that's something I could do. And that is that's what we're all about. Uh, myself included, you know, let's all let's let's all learn something. Uh, so one one thing that's always uh, a constant is that the the chat is there for uh, for support. If if you've got a burning issue that you want to talk about, we all we always want to engage with, you know, what the viewers think. If you've got something you want to ask us or like an idea that you have that you want to pitch to us or whatever, that's that's what we're here for. We, we love to discuss. We just love to discuss RPGs. Uh, and yeah, so that's if you if if it's your first time, um, you can catch up with the document. It's probably the quickest way. Just sort of have a look of where we are. Uh, what's going on with my camera? Wild. There's some weird balancing thing going on. Uh, so that's not flashing in the room. It's just flashing on screen. So um, I'll have a look at that. But I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, audio visual expert. So you might have to just deal with it. Uh, yeah, so if you that documents the quickest way to catch up. Basically, if you if you have any experience with RPGs at all, uh, we're just planning the campaign, and that's where we've got to. So that's you can see all the ideas that uh, we've come together as a group to put together. If you you need to change T, uh, change T. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Change the settings for your camera. Yeah, yeah. That's probably a this week thing, right? Uh, we get there. We we learn thing. We learn as we go on this channel, you know. This is the we're 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 all about the low budget, low budget, high output, you know. Uh, I can't remember where I was now. Yeah. So if you um if you're less familiar with what's going on, uh, uh, then uh, all of our previous episodes, if you will, uh, which I like to call sessions, because. The D and D thing are available on YouTube. If you if you just search for Roosters, you should be able to find all of our videos. And you can sort of you don't need to watch the whole thing, but you can scrub through them and sort of see like the process of how we've got to where we are. But um, that's 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 kind of it really. You don't you don't need masses of uh, prior insight to understand what's going on. We're just sort of uh, working together to develop everyone's develop everyone's like RPG acumen, right? Uh, hello, 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 Robbie B. Uh, so one one additional note. Uh, some of you may be looking at this map on the screen and thinking, "I've not seen that before." Huh. We did a we did a bonus screen, bonus screen, a bonus screen, a bonus stream on Thursday. Uh, a just a maps and chill. It wasn't. It was a very uh, very low key affair. Very sophisticated. Uh, we just um, we just sort of sat and uh, did a bit of sketching. So uh, we've we have a we have a starting location for our campaign called Sunnybrid. Uh, that's like a town on the southern border of the southern coast of our uh, like RPG region that we've created, and that's the town that we've decided we're going to start our players in. And we had when we when we went over, we did a whole episode that was dedicated to Sunnybrid. Uh, and when we did that, we sort of we we had gave the town a basic layout of where we wanted everything to be. Uh, and I decided that it would be cool as part of the session zero handouts. It'd be cool to be able to give our players a physical, obviously or in this case we're doing it online, so I'm going to be emailing them, but like a physical copy of a map for the town, so they can have an idea of where everything is on on day one. Uh, but drawing maps is not something that's going to happen in a two hour stream, so. Uh, I'd originally decided I was just going to do it as like a, a side project thing and present it to you when it's done. But uh, Robbie B had a, one well, message was deleted. Oh, Robbie B, fastest moderator in the West. He's walking home though today from work. So he's like, he's a little bit off the, a little bit off the draw. Still fairly quick though. Uh, yeah, so Rob, Robbie suggested that we did it as like a bonus stream on a Thursday night. And, and we did a very, uh, a very chilled out, 
like we just talked about whatever people wanted to talk about in the chat. There was a lot of there was a lot of uh, Pokemon and Magic the Gathering chat and a bit of a uh, bit of Dark Souls. So that was that was entertaining. Um, and this isn't this isn't what we achieved in those two hours. I have since added extra work to this. Drawing maps is something I enjoy doing quite a lot, but it's a very involved process, uh, and it's quite slow as well when you're talking to not to not to blame chat, but it's it's quite slow when you kind of talking to people as well while trying to concentrate. So uh, I, I imagine there's still like four hours minimum left in this map to get it finished. Uh, but I thought I'd show you where we are uh, so that, you know, I'm not, I'm not BSing you when I say I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I promise. Uh, is this, is this like this happens sometimes? So my, so my like, my screen kind of dies when I'm broadcasting my iPad screen. So this, just bear with, this should come straight back. Wait, there we go. Yeah, so this is, this is, this is where we are. Uh, we, <laughs> the town did not exist at the end of the last, at the, at the end of Thursday. We'd, um, we'd mainly done our outlines and started to do some shading. Uh, and I, I don't even think we'd finished like the cliff shaving. Shaving the cliff shading on uh, Thursday, so I've added that and the 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 buildings of the town are now present, and I've started work on a on a lighthouse. So uh, here, I've got a, on this layer. So up here on this cliff, uh, there's a lighthouse which is also. Um, like a chapel for the town uh, and that's going to be the icon for that so I, like right, as opposed to I decided I wanted to do a, a black and white map not black and white but like a, a not like a sepia tone map uh, and we're going to have like icons for the points of interest so we have uh, Spear Point Garrison up in the northeast there's a watchtower down here and the docks are like the most important and then we'll just add we'll just tag some uh, lines on to let people know where our shops, our general goods stores and things are, because that's it's important information for you for an RPG, right? You need to know where to sell and buy your wares. Uh, so that's just an update. There you go. That's where that's how the map's coming along. Uh, pretty happy with it. I haven't drawn a map in a long time, but it's something I enjoy doing, so I should do it more often. And thanks to Ruby Place for sort of making me, I guess. So. Uh, I'm more reluctant to show you the poster from last week, but we're going to anyway. So we started, I started drawing uh, a, I started drawing a, uh, Robbie B wanted a, a, like a propaganda poster. And I started drawing a full, uh, I started drawing a full person, like this thing that I drew a long time ago. Uh, which is uh, which is our our Prime Minister Boris Johnson, uh, and I spent a long time drawing it, and that drawing, like some fantasy shopping, very very important part of RPG is the fantasy fantasy shopping. You got to know where Sheila's is, you know, our our conf our uh, confusingly named store, magic item store, right? Or or it's a general store that has a proclivity to buy magical items. Uh, yeah, so I started drawing like a, I don't know, I kind of, I kind of took the challenge personally and started drawing like a full, uh, like a, a detailed human pointing, which was like not the whole purpose of why we were doing this, right? The, the purpose of this was to show that you don't need a lot of artistic skills to create something simple to give away to, yeah. Uh, I did not draw this, by the way. Uh, well, I, I'll get to that, but I didn't draw this. If you if you just if you're just looking and going like, all oh, right, what, what the, um, yeah, the whole purpose was to show that you didn't need to invest in a lot of equipment and have many hours worth of practice to be able to hand create a play handout for your uh, handout for your players. They're going to appreciate. It. So uh, at at like the one and a half hour mark, we scrapped the whole poster and said uh, we're gonna we're gonna just make one really quickly. So, hello, Ali Scarlet. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you've missed all the intro bit where I just explain where we're up to, so that's good. And and 
if I say so myself, it was very, uh, very concise this week. I feel like I'm getting better at, at explaining stuff without going off on a tangent. So that's, that's a little bit of personal growth. Uh, I'm now actually explaining stuff that needs explaining, which is good. So, yeah, the, at the hour and a half mark, we kind of scrapped everything we had. And uh, this, is a, this is the artwork from a Magic the Gathering card. Uh, uh, Kenrith Returned, I believe it's called. He's a, he's a king, and he's perfect because he's a king. And we just cut him out, right? And put him on a poster, and then put a crown. We, we drew our own crown, right? And uh, and then just the the text on the poster is what's really important, I guess. Uh, try and make use of assets that already exist, right? I don't con don't condone stealing artwork in any form, but if you're creating assets to hand to your players for a game of D and D that is a <laughs> that you know, is a free to play. An actual free to play D&D. I've I've read about people who charge money to DM games, which is crazy. People actually pay people actually DM as like a part time job. Which is not something I'm I, I don't know. A bit weird to me. I work I work I work past any judgment because I don't know much about it, but um it seems a little bit odd that you'd have to pay someone to anyway, anyone can do it. That's why we're here, right? Uh yeah, so if you're handing out a Asset to your players for a game of D and D. Don't worry about like cutting out stuff online or whatever. Just just Google RPG King or like Medieval King or whatever, and slap that bad boy in a paint document and put a bit of text over the top and print it out in black and white. No problem. Uh, or draw draw it like freehand. Just get a bic and a piece of paper. So uh, we're going to do another poster today because. We had the idea that we would have a um, Rob was really Robbie Ray was really sold on this idea of having this like pro uh, this loyalist poster, but my original idea was that because the because the handover is happening right, we the town is about to uh, hand over control to the Senate, the the poster would be like a Senate poster that's explaining like everything's cool, just just go about your business. Uh, if you've got any problems, you talk to this guy, not this guy now, right? Uh, but Robbie was like sold on this uh, propaganda poster from from like the loyalist standpoint. So I thought like let's do that and then like, let's just have both. Why not? Uh, and if I was if I was handing this out, if I was running this campaign in person, I would print out one of each of these for my players, and I would probably just get a marker pen and I would graffiti over the top of it something you know uh, something slanderous about the king. And maybe leave one ungraffitied to give people the give our players the idea that like this poster probably wouldn't be super well received. But we kind of we kind of settled on this like very cheesy. It's a very Reich Flairford uh, thing to have. Um, like it's, it it kind of incriminates itself. It's not a very good. It it sells his attitude like very well that like he wouldn't understand that people people living in a in a poor town on the south coast probably wouldn't be super enthralled by this poster but he probably thinks it's a picture of me they'll love it picture of me it's a picture of me in my really expensive chair after a full meal i'm sure they'll, i'm sure they'll love it rain judge and be loved ugh it's awful you hit ban just in time then nicely done nicely done rugby b you're home now. You're settled. That's what we, because we can wait for you, man. It's no, it's no issue. I've got my coffee. Um, has anyone got anything to add to the document before we sort of start drawing? Um, for those of you who weren't here on Thursday, it was, it was a, a very enjoyable stream, and I'm definitely going to do something like that again because it was just like there was no, there was no. I didn't come at it with any kind of like um, motive about getting certain topics covered or anything like that. We just sort of sketched a bit sketched a map a bit and let um let chat decide what we were going to talk about and it was real good fun uh, yeah so i'm going to open this document aren't i that's the that's the plan uh <clears throat> so the the uh, the google doc uh that is available with the doc command uh contains everything that's happened so far and uh I don't know if I've got a thing. No. Oh, I sort of do. Let's. Is this. Is this. Yeah. 
So, also, this isn't session seven. Just give me a second, because that because God forbid you'd think it was the wrong session, right? This is session eight, which is like the ninth stream, tenth stream if you include the intro. How's about that? Um, this this document contains everything we've planned so far, uh, and I say this every week, but um, things that are green have been named, and things that are blue have not been named. So we like to open it up to anyone who's new, uh, anyone who's watching. If there's something in the document you want to name, go right ahead. Because uh, because sooner or later I'm going to have to start naming everything because I need to be able to say stuff to the Session Zero team. And I don't want to name everything. I want everyone to be involved and everyone to have an opportunity to, you know, if you want to. I'm not forcing you to think of names and stuff, but... I would rather let you guys do it than just take full control and name the 60% of the stuff that's left that hasn't got a name. I, think I, could, I should add this poster to it as well. Because you can't see it. Well, I'm not super fond of it, but that's irrelevant. My fault. <clears throat> My internet is really playing up today. I'm going to have to skip this week. Hope all goes well. No worries, Pontus. We'll see you again next week. We'll, we'll, uh, if, if we have any specific need for, uh, for poems, you know, or other, or other flowery literature, I will, uh, I can send you a text. If we, if we're in dire need, I'll let you know. But have a wonderful week. Well, I guess I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Spoilers for football. See you, see you on the VOD. That's some real Twitch lingo. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to open up. I'm going to open a document. Let's uh, let's go. Let's let's get a new A4 bad boy open. So we want to. So we need a pro. We need a, a pro Senate. Woo! We need a pro Senate uh, poster. Like a propaganda poster or just like an inf information poster that's going to subtly explain stuff to our players right so remember the purpose of this uh there you go over on youtube videos will be uploaded to youtube uh what up youtube youtube it's your boy ross p coming at you for custom rpg 24 7. I have to work real hard to make that one family friendly, don't you? <laughs> that is a, that's an in-joke and a half, that. Uh, it made Rob laugh, I know that. That's, that's all that matters. Yeah, so uh, why are we doing this, right? Uh, so we're running a session zero. We've already covered that. Um, and I like to hand out things to my players on a session zero because... Um, I like to, because I like my players to be involved with the story, and um, I like my players to think of a character that's like ingratiated in the world. Uh, there's a, I, I try to give them as much information as possible, 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 as much information as possible on a session zero. Um, but we don't want to just sit and read uh, our Google document to our players and force them to sit through four pages of of well, more, you know, 10 pages of just trash that we've written, you know. It's not trash. We love it. But we don't, it's going to be trash to them if they just have to sit and listen to a long diatribe of me explaining, this is my world and isn't it great, right? So uh, this, we're trying to think of interesting ways to give the information to the players that's, one, easy for them to remember, right? And two, is more engaging than just me talking, right? So... Uh, player handouts is an amazing way to to do that. So we've we've got this idea of handing a propaganda poster. In our story, uh, the 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 region is a kingdom that's transitioning over to being uh, controlled uh, to an empire that's controlled by a senate, right? And there's there's uh, there's ill feeling, right, that comes with that. There's and there's a there's a fractious nature of uh, there's a, there's like fractious opinions uh, in the town. 
and across the region, but specifically in our town, there's going to be different opinions on whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. And that's like going to be a tension of our story. So we want to let our players know all that without just sitting and going, there's a, there's a kingdom. The way I've just done it to you, right? It's not, it's not going to be anywhere near as entertaining or engaging for our players. So if we can give them a poster that explains, like the last one, the poster says, you know, uh, your king's still your king. Because kind of part, part of the way the takeover is happening is uh, the king still gets to be the king, but he's like, you know, he's sort of forgoing all of his powers. So there's a, a propaganda poster that says, you know, I'm King, king Reich Flairford is still your king. So you need to still respect him as your king, right? And that's not going to go down super well with our, uh, with our Sunnybrid, Sunnybridites, right? Citizens of Sunnybrid. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to graffiti one of them when I give them to my players, right? So they, so they get to look at this poster and go, immediately they've got the information that the king's not the king. The king's not in charge anymore, but he's still the king, right? And they're like, what's that all about? And then one of the posters has been graffitied. And they think, ah, oh, maybe people don't like that. Maybe people, don't, maybe people around here aren't super fond of the king, right? And then we want to, I, I want to give them another one that's like more informative, from the Senate, because I feel like the Senate would be very, like, uh, very cold and um, sterile about it, right? It's just, this is a fact. We're taking over now. Uh, they're probably going to try and do their best by the citizens, but they're not here to, like, they're not here to parent you. They're just going to say, this is what's what. They, they genuinely believe that what they're doing is right, so that they, so they don't expect to have to explain that to everyone. So, uh, it's just it's just deciding really what um, what format that wants to be because we don't again like we, we don't want to hand them a poster that's all text either right the the uh, the we want to get as little text on it as possible while giving them as much information as possible and then our players can also keep this poster and they don't have to get the notebook out and write notes and they'll they'll pull it out at the next session and be like oh what's this oh yeah I remember the king the king's a doofus right. Uh, so I talk about this all the time, but uh, the reason I came up with this idea is because of the uh, propaganda posters in Fable 3's loading screens. Uh, and I can't remember what any of them say, but I'm just Googling them now. I'll be in need to you. Behave or be beheaded. Behave or behead. Just delightful. Wanted posters for deserters. That's an interesting one. That that's something that we might want to do like later on in the campaign is to have people who are like Reaver's industry. God I hate that guy. Ignorance is brought brawn not brain. Reaver industries. Uh... Yeah, so these are all very, these, these that I'm looking at are all very specific, but uh, I think, I think like, so I think we want some sort of, uh, I think we want some sort of symbol for the Senate that represents like unity, right? What says like unity, uh, like, like unity? Or, or like, unity is, unity is like the big, unity is the big message down here, right? Uh, how might we, so, so we've got a kingdom and the kit, as kingdoms tend to be, they're very, uh, uh, they're very top heavy, right? There's a lot of benefits for the nobles and the lords who are friends with the king, and there's not there's a lot of suffering at, at the bottom, right? So the Senate have decided that they're going to take over. The king's okay with it as long as he gets to still be king, and he th he still thinks he rules the place, right? So the Senate are offering like. The Senate are offering like a fairer distribution of wealth, I guess. It's kind of like the for the for the everyday person. That's kind of the like the dream.
uh, and we're like against the crown so maybe something like something anti-crown but then we don't want to be we don't want to annoy they wouldn't want to annoy Reich Flayford right mm. I'm, I'm struggling here I'm struggling to think of like a particularly a particularly spicy idea right Symbols should be simple so it can be quickly painted on certain buildings throughout the country. But it's a place to support support the cause. Yeah, simple. I like that as well because that's that's going to play into you know getting this poster done in a sensible amount of time. Uh, let's uh, let's let's. Okay. I know this has got the. Uh, I know this has got the. No, this has got my like paper texture. Oh, I drew on the paper texture. No. Oh no, it's flattened. Don't worry about that. Panic over, right? Uh, that is, that is, that's deletable. Because we have this issue of Procreate, right? Where uh, if I copy and paste my my paper asset into a document, it's gonna it's gonna resize that. It's gonna resize that. Uh, that graphic into into the size of the document, which is not ideal. Uh, two ten by two nine seven. I didn't know that. Two ten by two nine seven. Millimeters two ten. And of course we're gonna have to fucking have to like resize this a little bit, but there we go. Ooh, an upside down crown. I like that. Uh what did, so what did our what did the crown look like? It was a very simple one, wasn't it? Uh Ooh, and maybe the upside down crown's like a bowl, right? Maybe it's like a cornucopia type situation, right? The upside down crown is full of like Fruit, because fruit, right? Food. That's the thing that that's that's something that should be should be available to everyone. And under the monarchy, hasn't been, you know. If it was in if it's in uh, Sunnybrook, it should be full of fish. But like, if this poster's going to everyone, it should be full of fruit. Let's try that. Uh, so let's uh, let's let's start let's start laying some stuff down, right? Start laying some stuff now. Are we on a are we on a we're on a six B look? Look at that. Uh, so more on like our nice on our nice like fluffy on our nice fluffy crown, right? Uh, and then. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Awful, awful. I'm literally, this is, I have a real problem, you know, with like, uh, this is this is a sketch. Come on, Ross. There's a lot of pressure on, because everyone's watching me, you know? And like, we had we had this conversation a lot on Thursday that like, I put a lot of pressure on myself to like, to achieve. And like, it's a sketch. And it's also got to be like a simple, Right, it's got to be like a simple design as well. We've literally just covered that. Upside down crown, full of fruit. No one's agreed with the fruit thing, but I'm ro I'm rolling with it until I'm rolling with it until we have like a strong objection, right? Bigger, bigger. Look at that bad boy. That's, that is that is a large stalk. Couple of couple of couple of roundy boys here, you know. Maybe there's a lemon at the back. Don't know. Don't know who specifically wants to eat lemons, but you know they're important for cooking. Maybe it has a cactus flower in it to represent the desert. Did we say that there's a base camp in the desert? Uh, so the um, 
the West West Westberg? Is it Westberg? Yeah, this, where the yeah that's uh, that's like the that's where the Senate operate out of, as opposed to the where like the capital where the king is, and uh, that's very close to the desert, like it's on the border. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you wouldn't need to you wouldn't need to go into the detail of adding all the fruit. You just like you could just uh you just you could literally just carp this into your like right. People would people would get the idea. Like an upside down lotus type thing. We'd like people would get the idea that like Oh my god. I'm just I'm googling cornucopia right now. Uh, oh pumpkin! Oh my god, how do we not have a pumpkin? Guys, I nearly let you all down. I keep saying that the I keep saying that the central tension of the story is is this like uh, potential civil war with um potential civil war, right? And we all know that's a lie because the real the real centre focus of this story is pumpkins. Pumpkins. You know? There we go, look. Pumpkin. Roll with it, right? How do you like that? Just just a pumpkin. I can I, I think I think we can I think this is an achievable target in we've got an hour now, right? God, where does the time go, right? But this is an this is an achievable. Uh, but I need to I need to be focused and not try to overachieve because I've only got an hour. Um, I'm not. We're um. The problem I have is that uh, I've already got the map that I'm doing in my spare time, and I don't want to add another job. Because I would, I would willing, I would do that. I'd put another thing on my plate because I wanna, I wanna provide for you guys. But uh, what am I doing? Am I? Is it drawing guard? Is it drawing guard? Mirror, symmetry, options, horizontal, right? Is that what I want? Ali Scarlet, help me out. You probably use this all the time, right? Stop. Uh, yeah, with a sit, yeah, yeah. Turn assisted drawing on, and then perfect, perfect. Okay, right. Okay, okay. I need to like. I only get a couple of like when things aren't perfect. Yeah, I can't. Every now and again, I've just got to roll with it, right? And this is one of those times. This isn't perfect, but we're rolling with it because we want to. We want to finish, right? Uh, we want to finish. Let's turn this down. Oh, hello. Turn this down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that was one of those moments where I should have just run with it, right? This isn't a this isn't a commission piece. This is a get it done. Assisted drawing guide vertical, yeah. There we go. We got there. We did get there. Uh, so then, uh, don't want turn assisted off. Turn assisted off. There we go. Lovely, lovely. So, you you because we're going to need more of you. Let's get assisted again. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm speed drawing. You know, speed drawing. Uh, I'm speed drawing, and I keep making mistakes because of it. By this point, it's muscle memory, so I barely actually. Yeah, like I'm. I'm the same in Photoshop. Like, I, I, whenever I try and explain to people stuff, it's like, uh, you, like, because I use hotkeys for most things anyway. 
and then I don't even know which key I'm actually pressing most of the time. It's just muscle memory, no, like this one. Press this key. Oh, what have I done? I oh, know. Thought I was going to duplicate the. I was going to dupe my uh, thing there. And then duplicate. And then flip horizontal. Going to need my snapping back on. Will you? Uh, and then let's. Oh, whoa. Did not want to do that bottom one. Did not want to do the bottom one. That's my template. Hello. Hello, how big is this? That's the right size. Get rid of those. Probably shouldn't be bothering with those, but like, it's too amazing. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's the, that is the theme tune for uh, Pokemon. I don't know which generation it is, but I've just been watching it with Hannah. And it's stuck in my head. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm unbeatable. Pokemon. Advanced battles or something. What do you think? Take it on the show? Take it on the road? Yeah? Just run with it? Yeah, cool. 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 This is already so much more productive than last week was. I don't like how I don't like how the middle point isn't higher than the others. But you know we're working to brief today. And that brief is to get this done in two hours. And I spent an hour, I spent half an hour uh, explaining where we were, as I am want to do. So there we go. Uh, sorry. Okay, I'm pretty. I'm I'm looking up. I'm looking up as well to keep track of like what you guys are saying. And if people were saying stuff, I, you'd realize how on the ball I was being. Uh, this middle, this middle point is not. Ah, I hate it so much. Oh. Keep it, we're keeping it. We're running with it. Because that's the, that's the brief. Ruby Sapphire. Thank you. Is it Ruby Sapphire? It is Hoenn. Yeah, it's the Hoenn League. But that doesn't... I always do this. Black and white. Ruby and Sapphire is after black and white, is it? No, it's not. It's before black and white. Ah! So Treco is... Treco is... Ruby Sapphire. Yes, Snivy. That's right. Snivy's... Snivy's um, black and white. Black and white grass star. Okay. I'm with you. The Black and White series is really good. I thought we'd already watched that. We're not watching them in order. This is this is wild. Uh, what's this? This is me. This is me. Bloop. This is me. Bloop. Uh, sweet. Okay. Cool. Uh, now we're going to do the member berries. Right. Oh, this is going to like do me nothing. Okay. We got this. I got this. New layer. Oh, I'm double tapping my pencil and it's not. Come on. I'm double tapping your pencil. There we go. So I've got a race. Fantastic. I've got a race. So then merge down. Perfect. Hey, this is how we this is how we hotkey right here. I need to go back to pencil as well. Paint. Right. But the double tape has to the double tip double tap has to work. Erase. Double taps let me down. Big time. Erase. Merge down. New layer. Paint. Paint another member berry. It's this edit shape stuff that's going on. Get out of it. I'll turn that off. I don't want it. I ha Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Merge down. New layer. Paint. Stop with that. 
I can't, I cannot, cannot be dealing with that. Do they remember, oh, they, they remember Chewbacca. I wish I could do the voice. Uh, Ali Scarlet can do the voice. Uh, will will vouch for anyone in chat. Ali Scarlet can do a very good member berry. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Arafina, for. Uh, I've just merged down, haven't I? See, this is really fast if you remember what you've done. New layer. Paint. Uh, Stop with the. I don't know how to. I don't know how why it like forces me into uh, edit shape. Don't like that. Merged out. New layer. New layer. Paint. Erase. I kind of have to draw a dot to get out of the member feeling safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. Uh, merge down. Anywhere. I'm slightly worried about saying something member berry and it being clipped, you know? I could just do that. That'd be like, that'd be pretty spice. Uh, I need to merge down. Still, still need to merge down. Yeah. Anywhere. It's amazing how much that little, the little like edit shape thing slow me down. Merge down, new layer, new layer, paint. Member berry. Literally, get out of here. I don't know why you're doing this to me. Uh, oh, merge down. New Going too fast for myself. New layer, paint. Erase. I guess I'll just draw a dot and then because I'm get I'm moving to the eraser next anyway, right? Merge down. It's annoying me how long this is it's annoying me how long it's taking me to like work out the optimal series of button presses here. Yeah, so draw draw a dot. Move into eraser, erase. Merge down. Merge down. New layer. And then I've got to, I've got to remember to keep looking at the screen because you lot you lot will be chatting absolute nonsense, and uh, and I need to not forget. How's everyone feeling about me grapes? You know. Which is which is an interesting sentence. How's everyone, how's everyone feeling about me grapes? Also, how's everyone feeling about the crown of me yet? Uh, Shirley Bick mentioned that last week. Is she is she watching today, Rupert? Was she at work? Yeah, she had she had big things to say about the top of my head. You know, she's literally going down in history as the uh, the member of chat with the most opinions on the top of my head by by a considerable margin as well. Uh, congrats. Big part of history. Uh, and I believe she said that watching the stream made her want to play D&D, which is about, is about as uh, great a compliment as you can get it from my perspective. While we're here, you know. She's a uh, someone who's played like once. Has she played once? I've always liked. Her. Thank you. My great my grapes have always liked you. There's a there's a physical response whenever you're around. So I take that to mean that they appreciate you too. Uh, erase, erase. Oh 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 oh. We don't we don't hect it up. Uh, merge down. But the full menu's always there, you know? The full menu's always there when you need it. You know? When you make a little mistake like that. So don't, don't let yourself get too... Don't punish yourself too much. 
question do I have? Okay. Uh, and then draw erase, 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 erase. Finish down new layer. Okay. I could I could also save even more time by like duplicating these grapes, but um you know if I'm not gonna if I'm not gonna do like a proper job then at, at least allow me to uh, have unique grapes, right? I'm an artist at heart, you know, and I just wanna I wanna do I wanna do the best I can. I kind of uh, like trying to force stuff out in a short period of time is like whew, not my, it's not normally my thing uh, oh come on advanced battle I'd really appreciate it if that song wasn't stuck in my head not the, it's not the greatest uh, not the greatest composition ever made could have a big chonky boy in the middle here. Look, Whew. that's the memberiest berry. That's the berry that members. Uh, How much of my time have I wasted drawing grapes? It's not too bad. We are gonna, we are gonna need to be somewhat expeditious though. Uh, going forward. Somewhat expeditious going forward. Why do I talk like that? Somewhat expeditious going forward. I'm somewhat expeditious going forward. I'm just here to I'm just here to mock myself this week. Jesus. Time for tea. Take care, everyone. Thank you very much for stopping. I never asked how Skyrim Sunday. I guess I'm going to have to watch the VOD. Level 31 now, I, I believe. Uh, and one of these Sundays, I'm going to catch the stream. But Sundays are always real hectic for me because I'm like panicking about getting uh, getting off my stream. For anyone who doesn't know, my answer streams uh, mostly uh, painting content, like uh, for like hobby painting. Uh, and oh, didn't make any way. Uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. But then it, it's like a as a chilled out, chilled out thing on a Sunday. He plays uh just plays a bit of Skyrim with his daughter, which is which is lovely, you know, lovely stuff. Have have enjoy if you haven't already gone, enjoy your tea. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if I'd be quicker just using the menu, you know, but maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just like being hard on myself. I don't know, actually. The merge down is definitely like pretty, pretty handy. Also, when do I stop? When do I stop with the grapes? When, when doth the grape bunch stop? You know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm actually like, Going pretty close with what's on there. Um, I'm actually going with what's on the sketch. I think, so like in terms of grape, in, in terms of grape quantity. At least inside two raspberries, yeah. Because we'd have at this point we'd been we'd be zoomed in like this, and at this point we'd have finished one. We'd have nearly finished one raspberry. Uh, I li I literally have experience with uh, doing the exact same that exact thing. Uh, and wishing I hadn't chosen raspberries as a fruit, uh, and I'm, I've done that on multiple occasions in my life as well. Actually, I did, I've done that at, um, uh, at my previous job one time, uh, and uh, I did it recently. For those of you who are in the know, for for gin, for a gin label, uh, which never arrived in time. So I think I think only one person actually received the gin label. But it looked pretty good. You know, I was pretty pleased with it. Uh, yeah, this is definitely, this is quicker, but shouldn't be quicker, right? That's where I've arrived with uh, with the, 
with the using the menu and the quick menu situation. It shouldn't be quicker to use the proper menu, but it is because uh, I keep clicking the wrong thing on the quick menu. So that's that's my my bad, you know. I'll get there. I'm very uh, I'm a very like stuck in my ways kind of kind of guy. Yeah. Everyone's going like, no, not you, man. You're like the most. You're not the most like. Uh, uh, do I want this? I think I, want, I don't think I want this. You're like the most open-minded guy I've ever met. Hello. Yeah, there we go. That's where our that's where our that's where our grapes breach breach the uh, edge of the ed edge of the crown, right? Let's rename this. And then we need to do this. Let's go grapes. Right, let's get organized. Rename. Brown. Here we go. Look at this. He's organized. I did 12 on our wedding invites, so I'm sure mine and those took longer than painting and everything. That's pretty nice. What a, what a beautiful fruit, but also a gigantic pain in the rectum. Right. Uh, Let's have this orange. This is an orange, by the way. Uh, and uh, full disclosure, I chose an orange because it was going to be really easy. Yeah. Uh, no shame whatsoever in that regard. Uh, that's awful. Let's just keep it. Let's just put the. Let's just put the. Oh yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, awful, awful, awful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awful, awful, awful. Yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, back, back, back. Awful, awful. Uh, that'll do. Um, and then, and then I'm gonna. This apple's gonna be huge. This is gonna be Satsuma, I think. It's going to be one of the smaller, one of the smaller members of the orange family, right? Uh, and then I kind of want, like, kind of want my apple to not be. And we're not going to think too much about it, right? We're not going to think too much. We're going to fill this anyway, so they're like. Uh, uh, um, Right, I'm going to fill this anyway, so don't worry too much about the like spidery lines. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Let's not, let's not reinvent the wheel. Uh, let's erase this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Apple. Apples and bananas. You're welcome, Ali Scarlet. A, A, A. Alpha lock for no reason. E, E, E. Apples and bananas. Lovely stuff. And the best thing about it is most people aren't going to have a clue what I'm doing. But uh, Apple. Let's get that apple on the nice. Oh yeah, it's just erupting from the side of the. Uh, it's the orange is in front of the apple, right? Yeah, the orange is in front of the apple. Orange is foreground, right? Apple is background. Uh, and then let's. Why do I care so much about the bottom? Ah. I was going really well, and then I started like thinking about what I was doing. Awful, 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 awful. Let's just keep it, keep it stupid simple. Do you ever, Ali? Do you ever, um, do you ever? Do you ever wish that you were intelligent enough to remove your pen from the screen a little more, right? So when inevitably it goes wrong, you know, 
you hadn't drawn like I do all the time. I draw like really long lines and then mess it up at the end and then I like have to get rid of the whole thing. It was my tree. Uh, Oop. I'm so glad I Google cornucopia and saw the saw the pumpkin. I don't think I'd have lived with myself, you know. Afterwards, when I realised that there was a golden there was a golden pumpkin opportunity, pumpkin. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, apple, apple foreground, pumpkin, pumpkin background, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Ooh. I don't know why I'm making sound effects for. <laughs> and you can't. <laughs> God. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was more thinking when you draw and procreate, not when you not when you're tattooing people and like, oh, huge mistake there. That's awful, but we're gonna stick with it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've lost the lemon, but the pumpkin's doing this massive favors in the back there. Five past. We've got fifty-five minutes. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't unachievable, chat. Uh, uh, let's name you Duncan. Rename. What is going on there? Can I rename, please? Duncan. 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 Uh, so where is my... What did I draw the cherry on? Pumpkin and cherry are on the same layer. Classic. Classic. No, I haven't. That's the first time I've done that. When I, when I was drawing on Thursday, it was like every five every five strokes was like, this is on the wrong layer. This is on the wrong layer. This is on the wrong layer. Which is a realistic insight to when I'm actually drawing. Uh, pumpkin from selection. Cheza. Cheza, but no beza. For those of you, for those of you, uh, Squash intellectuals like myself, who realise that Chezzers, Chezzers and Bezzers is the uh, purest form of squash available in the UK. Chezzers and Bezzers. Chezzers and Bezzers. And uh, we're still on the apple. We've got some overlap going on here. Very good. Uh, and then we need to get on the or or orange. Yes, orange. Yes, orange. Yes, we've got overlap. Let's get you in the BG. Ha, 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 ha. In the background. In the background. Uh, I don't know what this like nervous ticking is that I'm doing, singing to myself and stuff. It's because um, um it's because I can't because I'm not looking at chat all the time. So like. Uh, that's awful, but we're going to stick with it as my new work. <laughs> just, just tattooing some, the back of someone's calf. Just anywhere where they can't see it, and you just... Oh, that's awful. But we're going to stick with it. Nothing comes close to it. Because, <laughs> we're going to stick with it because we scheduled you for three hours. So you're getting, you're getting exactly three hours worth of tattoo, uh, and it's going to look like how it looks. Thank you for being a sport and putting up with it. Uh, Nothing comes close to Ches and Bez. Ches and Bez is only juice we ever have in Nectar of the Gods. Nectar of the Gods. Uh, oh, um, is it, it's Ambrosia, isn't it? Ambrosia. Right? Any, any Greek mythology buffs in the house? I believe Ambrosia is the name of the, the, uh, nectar, the actual Nectar of the Greek Gods. Uh, they... And uh, you know, apologies if this is uh, fake news. Uh, I believe it to be true. Uh, it's they mixed nectar with wine and drank that. I'm pretty sure it was called ambrosia, and that's where that 
that's where ambrosia comes from. Love it, someone fact checked that and just said everything you just said came out of your anus. None of that is true. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Stephen Fry told me, so. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm just making more work for myself, but I really want a. I really want like a. Uh, just. Just like the nipple of a, of a lemon out here, you know? And I know I just said nipple. And it was on purpose. But like, yeah, just something to suggest. When I'm filling all this in back here, there's actually more fruit, right? I Jen thought you were talking about custard and rice pudding in the brand. That, yeah, that's... No, no. So the Greek gods, uh, they named their drink after the rice pudding right because it tasted it tasted nearly as good as uh custard right get rid of the sketch now that's completely useless okay all right okay all right okay all right all right group cool let's duplicate that cool 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 You know, I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Oh, I wanted to duplicate it so that I had a backup, and we're going to do this instead. Sunnybrid. It's not Sunnybrid anymore. Rename. Uh, poster. 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 DOS. Right. Yeah. And then we're just going to we're going to be savage. Like that. Oh. Oh. Ambrosia is the food or drink of the gods, often depicted as conveying longevity or longevity. I was right, and I'm, and the the uh, it's nectar mixed with wine. I believe is is like the thing with the thing with Greek mythology is that um, it's never like there's always like multiple interpretations of everything. There's no like there's no like right or wrong for like there's always like. Um, the same stories have been told multiple times and they're always like a little bit different. Uh, so like it's always kind of, it's always kind of like impossible to say, like to say definitively, like this is, this is true, right? Which kind of makes it work, which kind of it exacerbates the problem because then like it leaves, it leaves it more open to people to just sort of make stuff up and be like, oh, well, you know, it's all made up anyway. Uh, so a reference. Let's use this as our reference. Uh, let's get uh, let's get a crowny colour. Crowns are always hard. Gold is always really hard. Let's go with this for now. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, let's get a nice light furry colour. But oh god, it's just been a tool. Vintage roosters, you know. It's mostly a nectar, but sometimes food and sometimes drink in different tales. I'm unbeatable. I might, I'm pretty sure I didn't make up the wine thing, but yeah, so that's what I mean. Like, it'll just be like, depends on who's telling the story. I'm fairly certain when, uh, I'm fairly certain when I was listening to Stephen, Sir Stephen of Fry tell the story that it was, uh, it was a bit of the, bit of the vino, you know. With, with nectar in it, and there's a fantastic story about uh, a bee. Uh, there was like a cooking competition when the, when nectar was first when when they first started drinking ambrosia, right? There's a cooking competition uh, for the gods, and all the animals came to get like all entered this pie making competition, or whatever, to create the tastiest meal for the gods. And uh, the nice and the got and uh, Zeus promised whoever won could ask one favor of him, right? And he'd do anything you asked, kind of thing. Uh, and the uh, there was a bee who produced nectar as the as its like meal, as its food, uh, and the gods absolutely blooming loved it, right? Um, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to uh, 
misspeak it, so just bear with me. Uh, ah! No! Every damn time. Please go all the way back. Thank God. Vintage Roosplers. Yes, they love nectar. And uh, Zeus, Zeusy boys like AB. Uh, Penelope, I think it was in the tale that I heard. Uh, you've won. This nectar is delightful. We're mixing it with wine and it's sick. Uh, what do you want? And she said, you know, it takes me like, it takes me days and days and days to produce like a teaspoon of this nectar, right? It's so much work for me and I'm back and forth into all the flowers. And uh, like an entire, an entire month's work can be taken in a, in a single moment by a bear sticking its paw into my hive. Uh, so it asked Zeus for a weapon. It asked Zeus to have a way to defend itself from... Uh, other animals so that it could protect its nectar. Uh, and Zeus got all outraged because this is a common theme in Greek mythology where he sort of promises you, he promises you he'll do you a favour. And then when you ask him for a favour, he's like, how dare you ask, how dare you ask me to do something for you? Uh, and she's all like, listen, bro, uh, scorpions have a sting, right? And spiders have a, a venomous bite and stuff. I just want to have something similar to protect my, my nectar, right? Is that too much to ask? And then Zeus being the, the knobber that he was, goes, all right, fine, here you go. Uh, I'm, going to give you a, I'm going to give you a painful, poisonous sting uh, that will deter, that'll deter other animals from messing with you. But if you use it, it'll kill you. Because he's a vengeful little sod, is Zeus. In the in Greek mythology, and that's how bees got their sting. There you go. Are you trying to say that religion and mythology is based on different manipulations of things that have been passed down over millennia and may not be real? Yeah, bro. <laughs> we need to have a talk. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything that uh, contradicts anything that you believe, pal. You know. Oh, why didn't I just erase, man? You know, uh, we're in six. We're on forty-five minutes. Okay, I do need to get. I need. I do need to get the lead out a little bit. But I was enjoying talking Greek mythology with you all. Couldn't possibly be saying that. Like, how dare you? <laughs> Listen, I ain't here to. I ain't here to bash anyone's worldviews. But you know. But you know, you know what I'm you're picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, you Greek mythology was uh, Greek mythology was a serious religion, right? And now it's like, huh, these are funny stories. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Before I say something that you can say what you want in chat, right? But I've got to be like a little bit more. I've got to be a little bit more wholesome, you know. I'm selling my soul for followers here, you know. I'm trying to be famous. Where was that? Where was that bot that was offering me followers, man? That's all I need. Just buy them follow you boys. That's all it is. Basically, I'm going to be Logan Paul in two months, or I'm out of here. And I'm going to be ruining Pokemon for people. Now, there's some politics. There's some politics I'm willing to discuss. Some hot topics. Logan Paul is trying to ruin Pokemon for people. I don't. I don't believe that's true. By the way. I don't think he's trying to. I just think he's doing it inadvertently because he's an anus. Not bitter about it, though. He isn't leaving the noise step any better than that.
That's two. What color is a lemon? You know? <laughs> lemon yellow, obviously. Uh, I feel like it's like simultaneously not light enough and too light. But that's, this is probably where I'm going to settle for now. Uh, Cheza, let's get that nice, let's get that nice Cheza colour. Ah, uh, somewhere around here. Kind of toxic. There we go, that'll do. Right? Alright. I wish you'd fill in behind the lines, appropriate. Come on. Doodle 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 uh, you... I can't wait for you to YouTube boxing match for local pool. Bah, 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 bah. Do you know what? I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to. It'd absolutely pagger me, but I'd enjoy the opportunity. Is is a uh, not only has he got not only has he got a level of training now, but he's also he's also got he's also he's got probably like seven inches of reach on me, isn't he? Uh, no, what? What am I doing? Come on, Ross. A nice like oh, too big. Such such much reach on me. Uh, red or green apple? You guys decide while I, while I do the pumpkin. I feel like red would probably look better because we've got like a very red palette. If, if, I, if I do a green apple, it's going to stand out a lot. Right? And this is a bit where like everyone catches up and it's just like everyone's like, green apple, I want a green apple. And I'm a tyrant, and I'm just like, no, I've gone red. Green with tinges of red. I knew this was going to happen. I've already committed to red, Rob. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's a reason for it, though. Color theory, you know. We don't want to like. If I make if I make the apple, I've just said this, but if I make the apple uh, green, it's going to draw the eye too much. It's not all about the apple, you know. Pink lady. Pink lady would be nice. But... I, feel like betray... <laughs> I feel like I'm betraying everyone right here. Just... I feel awful. I feel awful, but not awful enough to change the colour. <laughs> Whoa. Really? You've converted to the pink lady? I'm... I couldn't be happier. Uh, did you originally say, like, golden delicious? I can't remember. And... I can't remember what you said, but you weren't wrong, right? In that the, your choice of apple was a damn good apple. And I know I was joking and saying, you know, either Pink Lady's your favourite or you're wrong, kind of thing. But like, I had a lot of respect for the apple that you chose, but I just can't. I'm a I'm a I'm a Pink Lady kind of guy, you know. I just don't I just don't see how anyone. There's a, there's a lot of quality there in a pink lady, you know. Uh, right. Okay. Pink Lady's a damn good apple, you yeah. know. Oh, I've been in the Golden Delicious. Prefer the sweet. 
Oh, the skin of that's Pink Lady. No, I said Red Delicious and then Brave and Pink Lady was third. The skin on a Pink Lady is awful. Do not say to you, Rob. Do not say to you. Uh, you, you. I love you as a person. Uh, I respect you as a person. Um, I think you've got a lot of insightful things to say usually. But um, I will concede. I'll meet you halfway. I'm willing to concede that Pink Lady's skin is not its selling point. Okay, it's not. It's not got the strongest skin of an apple, but the. Uh, you're talking trash about the wrong fruit, basically. It's kind of pink ladies ain't done nothing to you, pal, except be available and be delicious. And you're gonna come here in my stream, and you're gonna badmouth Defo Juiciest. There we go. There's something positive. But <laughs> dig dig yourself out of this torrent of hatred that was about to come your way. Oh no. Oh no, yeah, we're good, we're good. Why can't I get this right? Why can't I get this right? All right, why can't I get this right? Help me. That looks fine. Uh, and then I want to, after all of that, we're going to blur it. Uh, and then... Oh, Halloween, what time are we on? Oh, we've still got half an hour. Woo. Were you seeing that glitch? That graphic glitch? Oh, no. It was wild. Yeah, clipping mask. Uh, a nice, fresh green. Because I can't live with myself if I try this. Oh, God, we've got... We've got... Uh -oh. That's not, not where I want. Uh, we do not want those streamlined. Bigger. Bigger, he said. Why? This is just not... Oh, there we go. Oh, we've got pressure on us. A... Let's try a different... Let's try a different texture. <laughs> grunge. Let's make a grunge apple, shall we? I don't want to just... I don't want to just uh, airbrush it, but I guess I'm going to have to... Can't find... Uh... Can't find a texture that I like. So let's get a soft airbrush. Not even. No, there we go. Big old. Whoa, whoa, fella. There we go. That's too much. Hope you guys appreciate. It. I want to. I'm on a deadline here, and I'm like, I wouldn't say wasting time, but like, definitely not the best use of my time to change the color of this apple. There we go. All right, happy. I like a good gala apple. Gala apple. I once worked with a guy. Right, and he was a funny lad, uh, and he and he was dead against pink ladies, and he and he said, and I quote, "A pink lady is just a gala apple with attitude." And as as funny as that was, nonsense. I'm gonna try Braeburn next. Uh, very well, Braeburn, do enjoy the peel pink. Peeled, yeah. I'll everyone's you grow up <laughs> peeling your apples. Before the age of 85 or after the age of like five? I don't know. Teeth are too sensitive after having braces. Struggle with apple skins. Mm. Feel bad now, but. But you know. Stop peeling your apples. You're making me seem ableist. Yeah, I mean, exactly the same things happened to me. Right. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. 
So where to next? Where to next? Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna. Uh, right. What I'm gonna do, guys. What I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna add my. I'm gonna add the text, right? Or I'm gonna let you sort of. Don't do that to me. Why would you do that to me? What do we want this? What do we want this to say? Right. We'll add the text on now, and then I can just like shade and stuff. And then, no matter where we get to at the end of time, it's going to be finished, right? Because we've done the text. Shouldn't be me in his head. I, I, this is going to shock you, Chloe, but I still hold to the fact that I'm not in the wrong. You're in the wrong for peeling apples. So. Uh, yeah, text. What text do we want to do? We want to say, insert a file. Don't do that. Cancel. Add. Text. Uh, uh, we want it. We want a big uh, unity. At the bottom, I think. Uh, in a nice, in a nice dark brown, right? And then we established last week. I should have downloaded a different. We established last week. I just didn't have a very good. Uh, didn't have a very good font for like medieval font. We've got this. Uh, we've got this Middle Earth uh, font, which I'm sure is I'm sure is perfectly uh, legal. Uh, clipping mask, clipping mask. We're gonna do a bit of a clipping mask, and then we're gonna. Shade in blue. I always shade in blue and a highlight in yellow. Free the crown, free the people. I like it. I do like it. I'm just waiting to see if anyone else has got any like suggestions. Which I know sounds like I don't like it, but I do like it. I'm just I want to be inclusive, you know. Robbie B's always got good ideas. Let's let someone else. Oh, no. Well. Oh, whoa. Whoa, fella. Oh, that's where I want to be. Here we go. It's not all apples I peel. It just so happens that most of it will have horrid skin. What? I, do you think that's a? Do you think that's a biological thing? Right? Do you think it's because uh, it requires like a it requires like a, a more robust skin to hold uh, a more robust skin to like hold the juices in, right? And then if the juices are held in better, then they have a better chance of becoming more flavorful. I don't think it's going to be a coincidence, right? This is just, I don't know, I don't know how I'm shading this. Thing. I don't know why I'm like being so awkward. This isn't a bank job, remember. This isn't a bank job. Our players are going to be grateful that I've done this for them, right? I'm not charging them for it. So it doesn't have to be like permission at all. Uh, that's a bit wild. We do want to. We do want a slightly soft edge on this, right? Yeah, a bit of that. A bit of that. Uh, defend off predators. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Like. Like I guess the more the more like the more capable the fruit is itself of like fending off of like uh, deterring predators than like not predators deterring uh, predators deterring uh, wildlife from eating it then the more opportunity it's going to have to like flourish. Yes, you come for the you come for the sick D and D prep 
then you stay for the important Apple talk, you know? I feel like we're all going to go home today and say, I learned a lot about apples today on the stream. Or not even going to go home, we're just going to be at home already, right? Because we're being entertained in our own homes. How cool is that? Uh, let's... Oop. Whoa, fella. I really wanted to, like, add the spots, Rob. I really wanted to add the spots for you. Uh, and I guess we can try still. We can still try. We can still try, but it's going to be at the bottom of the list, right? We're going to do some shading, right? We're going to add your text. And then we're going to add spots to the headband of the crown. Last. Wow. Apple's going to be providing a little bit of there's this Cheza. There's this Cheza. A little bit, a little bit of Cheza shade. Maybe even a little bit of orange shade, you know. If that's the case, then we need a little bit of a little bit of grape shade. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I probably have overdone that a little bit though. And because I'm a nano, I put it on the same level layer. So I'm going to get a really big, soft airbrush. I'm going to erase, <laughs> erase it back a bit. Because mistakes were made. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's. Oh my god. Time. Okay, okay, okay. Let's. Woo! Let's. Whoa, whoa, fella. Whoa, fella. Don't do this to me. We're going to shade these grapes at light speed, right? Because I could spend ages on it and then not have time for anything else. But that's not what we're here for. What's going on here? Oh, of course. I'm... No. Why can't I see this? Why can't I see this? Oh, because it's. Ah! Come on, Ross. Let's leave that. And then go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real quick. Real quick, real quick. There we go. That's better. Bit of, bit of problem solving, right? Uh, is there no cow print brush? <laughs> it's the secret, right? It's the thing that, like, you're a normie, mate, right? And, uh, the truth is there's actually just a there's actually just a cool art brush and you just paint and it just does cool art and then you just post it on Instagram and like pretend that you spent you saw oh yeah I spent six hours drawing this. It's real sick. You ever look at artists and think, how have they got the time to do all of this stuff all the time, right? That's why. Because you don't it's because you don't you're not on the inside, man. You don't know about the, the awesome artwork brush. It just does it for you. It's kind of upsetting, actually. I'd like, I'd really like to do this properly, but that's like, that's kind of just a me thing in it. That's, this isn't intended to be like a long exercise, and then I'll like make it too long because I want to do like a really good job, I guess. And that's not me woolying and trying to be like, oh yeah, aren't I sick? Me saying that. I would spend too much time on this, right? For what it is. Like even now. These grapes are probably fine, and I'm just like, oh, let's just add a little, let's just add a little bit more shade. Yeah, good and mate. Or we could just like move on to the next fruit, so that we can actually finish on time. Twenty minutes. We're gonna run over, aren't we? But like, I want to be, I want to be as close to. Uh, what am doing? Selecting, selecting the orange. Woo. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 cool, 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 cool. 
nice big, a nice big brush. Ah, I was sure I lifted off then. I was sure I'd lifted the pen off. It was looking real good as well, and then I just went like a little bit too far, and I was like, cool, that's fine, we can dial it back. Went a little bit mad there, didn't I? A little bit. Still a little bit of shade. There we go. Okay, okay. All right, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Cherry. Easy. 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 Easy, pal. Easy, pal. Easy, cherry. Oh, yeah. A little bit of shade on the bottom there. And then a little bit of some shade on the, on, the, on the outside there. I don't think I've ever drawn something and not shaded in the bottom, right? Talk about this, like, when we're drawing the map. Sweet. I don't think I've ever, I may have gone a bit overboard there, but I'll do this again. I'm doing this on the same layer, but I'm aware I'm doing it on the same layer. It's not a mistake. It's because uh, I'm going to run out of, I'm going to run out of uh, layers if I. Was that, can you see that? Did you see that graph glitch? Graphical glitch. F you. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you were picking it up. I don't know if you were picking up what I was putting down. But. That's why. Uh, yeah. This needs to be above. I think I should just, I think I should be just turning the thing on a bit, push down a little bit. Let's try that, shall we? I don't think I need to be doing that, do I? Dropping onto that layer to glitchy glitch glitchy glitchy glitch boys. You can see it. Uh whoa. Not standard, but somebody somebody will have made a cow print. I was sort of jerking, but like somebody will have made a cow print, cow print brush. An awesome cow print brush. In fact, it's short cuts. Uh, Ali's just trying to protect the secret. If only there was an awesome artwork brush. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo. uh yeah, so I'm on the right layer. Of course I am. Of course I am. Of course I am. Professional me. I'm always on the right layer. Boom. Boom thing. Uh, boop. Beep, 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 bop, boop, boop. Beep, 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 bop. Oh, this lemon. The lemon. Why did I do the lemon? It was a really good idea at the time. That's why. The lemon's just like the lemon's just like mostly shared. That's the problem. Boom. Yo, yo, yo. Let's merge those, and then I can do like a, a merge those, and then I can quickly throw the highlight layer on. Whipping mask, glue. Oh. oh, that's it. Yellow highlights. There's me. Do, 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 do. Ooh, 
That's a real hot spot there. Look, Whew. I'm gonna dial these back. I always work like uh, I always work like to I always go to town on highlights and then dial them back. Just like uh, I like I, I, I like subtle highlights, but then it's really hard to see what's going on. So, there you go. So if you're looking at that and being like, "Oh my god, what's he doing? He's lost his plot. He's lost the plot." Yo, look at these grapes, though. Don't they look so delicious? Got the whole grape on my back, though. Oh, there. A little bit, little bit up here, look. Oh, little, little subtle, little subtle boys. Little subtly boys. Little highlight boys. You know what, given the short amount of time that I've done this in, I'm actually pretty happy with the like, way how it looks. I'm not even sure there would be a highlight there, but you know, whatever. Uh, I, don't like that. I didn't like that. I did it and then I didn't like it. So we're going to roll it. No, we're not. We're going all the way back. Oh, sugar. Where have I gone to? There you go. Look. I'm actually pretty happy with that, given the, given the, <laughs> given the rushed nature of it. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, so let's let's do this again there because uh, so we're gonna try and like uh, uh, so the highlights down here are actually not too not too bad uh, these highlights definitely need like a bit of definitely need to behave themselves Uh, me to behave themselves a bit. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's. We've got a clipping mask. Let's get dark. Uh, what was the texture we used last time? Oh, it was this sword grass. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Do you remember? It was just sword grass on some spots, and it was like, like wild. Uh, uh, is this fully? Am I just like really grey? Why is that happening? Because of that? Oh, it's because I'm... Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why? There we go. A little bit bigger. Uh, spotty spots. Uh, we need to do this though. And I don't need to change layer, but I keep doing it for some reason. And we had this big conversation about how like it's impossible to like make random stuff actually appear random. Which is like an absolute it's a huge problem on that. I hate it. Like drawing drawing random stuff, like these spots. I'm gonna zoom out and you're like, they're not random. I don't know if it's just me, but they just really don't look how I intend them to look ever. There you go. More. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh and then uh and then really that I kind of I kind of missed I've kind of missed the boat on because everything's outlined, I've missed the boat on giving it like a edge. Giving it like a a fluffy edge. Uh, but we can do some of this look. So we can Create like a highlight of this sword grass and be kind of sparing with it, right? See if I can make this give this like loads more spacing for that, right? 
and then we're going to get, 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 back. right, I know what I'm doing here, I do know what I'm doing, I'm just, uh, I just need to select this, right, so I'm just going to give like some sparing uh, white, some sparing highlights, highlight furs, right, and you were like, all oh, right, okay, okay, all right, I see, I sort of see where you're going with this, all right, okay, uh, and then duplicate that alpha lock, fill it in grey, remove the alpha lock. Why is that? What is going on there? Why is that appearing through here? Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Because it's going to be like just a real subtle. Just a real subtle shadow on there. There you go. There you go. A little bit, little bit of shadow on the highlights. Oh yes. It does look kind of fairy. Uh, I don't like. I missed the boat on because of the because of the outline. Like it take a, it take more than ten minutes work to uh, make the edges hairy now. But yeah, look at that. Hey. Carrying 10 minutes under budget as well. Like, I'm not being funny, but it's not my greatest work of art. But uh, under pressure, absolutely loving it. So what's the, what, what's the text? What did Ruby say? Uh, I'm going to have to scroll back past all of this uh, incredible Apple chat. Uh, The crown and chair are back. Oh, I missed. I just missed all of this. I thought I was doing a good job of keeping up with chat. Uh, can't wait for your YouTube boxing match for Liverpool. I remember that. I paid my money for the crown and chair are back out again. Protect your back, please, sir. Yeah. When I when I if I ever get to the fifty followers that you need to like do better stuff, you get like the little points, and you can have chat. You accumulate points just by watching. And then there are things you can redeem the points for. And I want like a posture check in one of them. You can redeem like 50 of your points to posture check me. And I have to like correct my posture. Which will be once I've sorted this office out. So I've got like a desk that this sketchboard actually fits on horizontally. Like with the legs out. The whole point of this is to stop me hunching over my iPad. Uh, but at the moment I'm just, it's like. I can't do that because I can't get the legs. I can't get the legs out and stand it on the desk because it's the desk is too narrow. Uh, what did he say though? Where were we? I've gone way too far back. I haven't gone too far back. The short hairbrushing touch-ups is good, by the way, but you kind of already got past there. Good to stick on half opacity and build up. A show. I don't know what Rob. Can you just remind me what your thing was? Because like um, I cannot find it. I'm scrolling back. There's so much good chat here that it's like impossible to find your. Uh, was it Rob? Maybe it's not Rob because I'm only looking at the red. Free the crown, free the people. Uh, like it, absolutely love it. Edit text. Free. Come on, capitalizing crown. Shows, that shows a little bit too much respect. Free the crown.
We the crown free the people. We the crown, we the peoples. Let's reduce that. Reduce that. Uh, what's the okay? Like that. Bracket? This line? This line makes sense. Not this line. Can I even do this in in uh, can I even do this in appropriate? Uh, Come on now. Error. Thank you. Thank you. Three. We the people. We the people. We the ground. Let's, 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 let's edit text. Let's reduce the size of that. Be the crown, be the people. Be the crown, be the people. <laughs> Woo! Ripper. Uh shall we shall we include that in it? Shall we? Thank you. Uh hang on. I always like I always get like ugh real worried when I'm like merging, when I'm flattening down a little layers. Uh Alpha lock. You know, that drop shadow here. Yeah. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Okay, all right. Uh, so, uh, something about the Senate. Uh, Ruth, uh, oh, whoa! Ruth. I could just tell him that uh, shocking attitude for Ruth, Liz. Comic Papyrus. I wish I had Comic Papyrus on my iPad. I will get it at some point. Put a donk on it. Please. Right. Um, uh, I need, we need something about the Senate, don't we, at the bottom? Just like. Uh, Uh, what have we got? So it's free the crown, free the people. Uh, how's this? Unite. Oh, hello. Unite. Oh, 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 I've got it. Please, Lord, no, it's already commentary from Rob, apparently. Not a good fun. What? Uh, I had this, so I was on uh, Eddie, Eddie D's stream. I was on it. I was in the chat, and uh, it, for some reason, uh, Topic of Fonts came up. And I went on quite a long uh, tirade of, like, a, a defense of Comic Sans. Because it's like everyone was just memeing hard on Comic Sans because there was a chat about fonts. Uh, 
and I was like, look, um, Comic Sans, Comic Sans is a design masterpiece, right? It's, it's misappropriation is not, right? Like, someone was like, everyone was just talking about how like childish it is and stuff, right? If you're printing it, if you're printing a child's, uh, you're printing a child's storybook and you use Comic Sans as the font, that's a, an appropriate use of a font and it's a good font in that case. It's just misused all the time, so it's like become a meme. And I love the hating on it because it's banner. Uh, empower the Senate. How do we like this? Em empower. Should I spell it right? <laughs> uh, empower the Senate. Empower the people. Get out of here. Whoa! Boo! Brewski! Come on. This is edit text. This is like end of this is like end of the two hour stream. Like nonsense, isn't it? Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Boop. Delete that. Duplicate that. In fact, uh, edit it. Empower the. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, people, right. Boop. Boom. Boom. What do we think? Vote Bennett. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, fair. Bobby B's giving me the fair. Rupage. Ah, ah, please, God, fine, just text layers, I can recreate them. I know it's like, I know it's entirely down to the iPad's capability of handling, like, uh, high resolution layers, not appropriate fault, but it's just like, the amount of layers you can have on a print, a printable document is like so difficult to work with. Get that spicy drop shadow, you know. Ooh. You know you're a graphic graphic design king when you love the love a drop shadow. Boom. What do we think? We're like an hour and a half's work. Insightful, right? Our players will love it. And then we're gonna flip this background. <laughs> it's actually it's actually a little bit overkill, I think. Anyway, let's dial it back a bit. Right. When I, fl I flipped it so it's not the same, so the background doesn't look identical to the other one. Berber is I'm actually like pretty pleased after two hours work. With people watching as well, it's like it's it's pretty. Uh, I, can, I look over here because I can see my face, and I feel like I'm talking to you, but I'm not like the cameras there. Um, and then I and then I start saying something in in the middle of a sentence, and then forget what's it. Uh, I haven't got my coffee today either. I've been so busy, I haven't had my coffee. You know. Hope you guys appreciate it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, Cafetiere. Fantastic. Yeah, so like for, for two hours work, an hour and a half, two hours work. Great. I'm, I'll be pleased to hand that to our players at session zero and be like, take a look at this. This is a poster that you'll see about town. 
and they'll be like, oh, cool. Thanks. Uh, and you can get this printed for pence online as well. So nice. I've never seen that emote before, and I love it. Shades. Yeah, I wish I had, wish I had shades to feeling cool. <sighs> it's taken us to time as well. Like, I've got an oh, hello. I've got a, like outro now, but I'm 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 riding on a high. Look, it's poster. Don't don't look too bad. So, uh, thank you. As always, those of you in chat, you you make this worthwhile. So appreciate you being here. Uh, for anyone who's new, who's lurking and and you know, only four minutes over today. Yeah, like I I kind of I kind of I feel like two hours is like the bottom end. I like it's supposed to. I always feel like four two hours is like the we aim for two hours, but we know it's going to be two hours and fifteen minutes. But then like. On the odd occasion where it's more than like two and a half hours, that's that's like overkill. Uh, so yeah, like nailed it, absolutely nailed it today. Um, anyone who's anyone who's watching from watching from the shadows, uh, please please uh, give us a follow if you like what you see. Uh, it helps us out a lot. Lets us know that you into you're into what's going on. Uh, don't be shy. Come back and chat next week. Like let us know what you think about what's going on. Uh, so we are so very close to the fateful day where I'm going to run um, this session zero for the, the my, my guinea pigs, right? So next week's going to very much be uh, about looking at our checklist and just making sure we've got everything we possibly need to be ready so that I can run that session. And then, uh, and then, Fingers crossed it goes well. Um, the week after, I think, we'll be able to talk about uh, what happened in session zero. I'm hoping to do like some edits and clips and stuff. I don't want to oversell what I'm going to do because I'm not super familiar with Premiere Pro anymore. So like editing, editing footage is going to be like a bit of a challenge. But I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, next week's going to be like a, a, a mad dash to get everything ready so that, we're, so that, we, can, uh, that we can run session zero. Uh, and I can't even remember what's on the list. So I'm going to familiarise myself with that uh, over the coming week and uh, try and make sure that I'm prepared to help you get prepared to make sure this session zero becomes a reality. Uh, as always, all of our back episodes are on YouTube. Just search Roosters and you'll find everything that you need to get up to date. Uh, we're here every Sunday at 6pm uh, UK time, which at the moment is BST, you know, because of farmers and stuff. To uh, GMT plus one, uh, and I think that's everything. Uh, it's been a fantastic week, and I'm really pleased with this poster. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. So, thank you all for stopping by. Uh,